Hello and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel we like to talk about handbags, accessories, lifestyle, all of those things from the male point of view and on a budget. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel. I'm really working to grow this channel so I'd really really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, and then comment on the videos you enjoy, like them, let me know what you want to see more of and all of those things. Today is a collaboration. It's my first collaboration with this content creator, Julie from Agent Bag Review. So if you're coming to me from Julie's channel and you don't yet subscribe, please consider subscribing. Julie and I will have a lot of similar content as we both love handbags and in a few minutes you'll learn some more things. Um, and then if you don't subscribe to her, which why would you subscribe to me and not her already, but if you don't and you're going to go watch her video next because it will be linked below, make sure you subscribe to her as well. So today is when Tuesday uh, before Thanksgiving and last Sunday or this previous Sunday, I had the pleasure of having lunch with Julie from Agent Bag Review. Um, from this point on, I'm going to call her Julie. Um, and <clears throat> she is an amazing soul, amazing human. And even nicer in person, if you can believe it, than you would imagine. So I was super, super pumped to get to spend some time with her. Uh, we met up at a restaurant between our two places, and it was just a great time. I honestly, it flew by before I knew it. It was time to get up and go, and I could have sat and talked with her forever. Um, it's just so much fun. So a little bit of backstory before we get into the collaboration. Um, Julie, I stumbled upon her channel probably about a year, year and a half ago, and I noticed in her description box she had the address for my local mall, and, um, from then obviously I assumed that she lived near me. Now, the metropolitan area I live in, our mall can encompass a lot of areas, so I mean she could live within, honestly, two hours of our mall, and that could be her mall, so to speak. So I never really was quite sure where she was or anything. Um, but actually, when Devin, Ed, Jean, and I did our collaboration a while ago, um, I went to Devin's Facebook, because we became friends on Facebook, to get a picture for my thumbnail. And I saw on his people you may know or suggested friends from him, um, Julie was there and I recognize her picture and her name and I click on it and I'm not kidding you she lives three miles from me it's like a 10 minute drive give or take she is also a real estate agent with the same brokerage that I am at super excited about that like how does that happen we both love handbags obviously and there's so many other things we both went to the same college um, obviously in college we lived in the same town. Um, no, I went several years after her so we didn't overlap but it's still really really cool. Um, and even in her videos you can see her backdrop is I believe her living room. She has a blue accent wall on her stairwell. I have a blue accent wall on my stairwell. The similarities go on and on and on. So really really cool, really really like amazing that I would meet someone so close to me with all of these things in common. When we were having lunch and we were just kind of talking and I had carried a coach bag. I was gonna carry my Marc Jacobs just in honor of her and her love for the Marc Jacobs totes right now, but it was kind of rainy and gross and I didn't really feel like switching bags. So, and I'll show you the bag I was in here in a minute because it relates to the, the tag. Um, and I told her, you know, when we were showing each other the bags we were carrying and she was carrying one of her bandits. It's I think stone or washed stone. I don't know. It's a beautiful taupe color. Um, it made me actually want a coach bandit which I didn't want before but now I'm considering buying one. Go figure. Um, and I told her yeah this is my favorite coach bag. It's really the only coach bag I carry consistently and if I had to get rid of all of them this is the one I would keep. And she's like that would be a great tag. And of course would you do it with me? And she said, yes. So thank you so much, Julie, for recommending this. It's super, super fun. I'm not entirely sure how she structured her video. As I'm sitting here editing this, I also remembered 
because the only thing I know about her video is she did ask me my permission to disclose something. Uh, we both met our significant others online, which is really cool. That's the only thing I know that's in her video. I am gonna give you my three runner-ups and then I'm gonna tell you which one won. Um, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how she structured her video, but go there, watch it after you subscribe, watch and comment on mine, and then come back and say, she did this. So, the bags that I considered for this collab, now keep in mind, I do have a few additional Coach bags in my collection. Um, and kind of like I talked about with her, I love Coach. I have no problem with contemporary brands. I'm not someone that has to have nothing but ultra luxury but I do not carry my contemporary brands as much as I tend to carry my luxury brands. And I think part of it is just guilt for how much I spend on some of these bags. I feel like I should carry it more than a bag that was a little less expensive. So if I ever, ever, ever had to get rid of bags, I would start with my contemporary brands. Coach, Kate Spade, Michael Kors, any of those brands are definitely where I'd start kind of trimming away before I start cutting the big guys. Um, it doesn't mean I love them necessarily any less. It's just a factor of what I spent on them and what they mean to me. So contender number one is my only Coach Outlet bag that I actually have, I think. And it's the Coach Ellis Nylon Shoulder Bag. And it comes with a coin pouch and a crossbody strap as well. Um, things I love about this bag, obviously the nylon, the minimal branding. Um, I like the gold hardware. I love the little ring zipper. I do like that the coach tag is a contrast to the leather and then it has the contrast stitching which reminds me of the Rogue so it feels a little more higher end. I absolutely love this bag. One thing I don't love is the strap. I wish it was just a black nylon strap. I don't necessarily love this two-toned red color. I know that the oxblood color is kind of a coach thing but I wish that it was just a black nylon strap, but I do love that it's detachable. Great bag, love. Number two is my Coach Rogue 25. And I'm actually carrying this bag right now because of Toach Jean and Yota style. Um, Toach Jean has a custom order one in a beautiful blue smooth leather with the mustard interior and like the brushed nickel hardware. And it's really, really beautiful. And he's kind of like me. He doesn't carry a lot of his contemporary bags. And I think he's sold quite a few of them. Um, but we've talked about how he recommended I use these straps because as we all know, this bag comes with a ton of strap options. It comes with a crossbody. It comes with these two shoulder straps for over the shoulder carry. And then of course it has the uh, top handles that you can fold inside. Um, he has, I think the size 30 and he had his handles tucked inside this pocket. I don't like that on mine because I have it so packed because it's a little bit smaller and that it leaves an indention on the leather and I don't want a permanent dent where my handles are. So I just leave mine flopping out. But this bag is stunning. I would love it in his color combination, but I don't see myself buying another one. Um, and then Yota Style just got this, I think in the size 20. Um, and hers is the all blacked version and it is beautiful and I love it. Um, so between Yota and Jean, I had to pull this bad boy out. Um, but this bag does carry a lot on the flip side, it also doesn't carry a lot. I don't like carrying this bag as much as like a Speedy 25, for example. I just don't feel like it fits everything quite as good. Uh, part of that's because I'm always afraid I'm gonna run a bag. So I don't put a lot in these side pockets. So I cram everything into this middle section here. So there's just not a ton of room. Like I said, it's not necessarily just the bag. It's the way I use it but this bag is beautiful. The construction is amazing. Um, love this bag. The only downfall is the size and the way that things fit. The third one uh, was one of my very first unboxings in my most viewed video on YouTube. And uh, that, I think that tag, I was tagged by Caleb Snell first on that one. Um, I'll link that video below as well, but this is my Coach Tate 29, I believe. Um, it's a structured bag. Um, I think it's part of the 1941 collection. I could be wrong. It has, of course, the glove tanned leather stamp and the feet. It has D-rings and this comes with a cross body strap that can be made short or long. Similar to the Rogue, it has the textile lining. Um, well, actually not. The Rogue has suede on the outside pockets, but this has textile, but it does have the small outside pockets. 
And then the interior is the exact same setup as the Rogue. Um, and it's also in the textile on the inside, just like the Rogue is. Gold hardware. This bag came in several different color configurations, if you guys recall. I did have it in the color block. It was the orange and ox blood with the gunmetal hardware, but I never carried it. So I did sell that one um, and I got that on the reserve. So I was able to get rid of that for a pretty fair price to a buyer. Um, but again, I love the contrast stitching. I just think this bag is very beautiful and elegant and old. It just looks classic. Um, downfall, just like the Rogue, the size. And I know it's, it's indicative of leather, but the back leather, the panel here, um, there's a lot of veining and wrinkling in it. So I'm not a big fan of that, but it is absolutely stunning. Now, what bag would I not sell? If I had to sell two bags and these were my choices, what bag would I not sell? Take a second, close your eyes and think, Rogue Tate Ellis. And I'm gonna show you one bag that it's not. It's not the Tate. So now what do you think it is? Well, guess what? It's also not the Ellis. Though I love these bags, this is not the one that I would never get rid of of my coach collection. The one I would never get rid of is my Rogue 25. This bag is beautiful. This bag is iconic. I think Coach, I think this bag. This bag is great quality. This bag is very unique. I love that it's not branded hardly at all. Um, it does have Coach on the little rivets. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's Coach stamped on those. But that's pretty much it. This bag is not anything crazy. Anyone who doesn't know handbags, wouldn't really probably even know this was a coach bag, but I just think it's beautiful. It's great quality. This bag rivals a lot of my luxury bags. So this is it. And yes. So let me know below what you think and all of those things. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you're here and you don't yet subscribe, I'm really, really wanting to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And it's ticking away pretty fast. So I would really appreciate that if you would share with your friends and um, please go to Julie's channel and make sure you subscribe to her if you don't already and watch her videos. She does really, really great videos, great reviews, great comparisons, and she's just a really nice and amazing person. So I'm really looking forward to a lot more collaborations with Julie. Um, I was going to kind of vlog our meetup, but since it was the first time meeting up, I decided not to, but... I'm hoping that maybe someday we can do some shopping vlogs. She did tell me that our local mall, our Nordstrom, started carrying a few more higher-end brands. So I'm going to see, hopefully someday maybe she'll meet me up there and we can vlog the mall. Let's go to the coach store. Let's do all this stuff. And Julie, if you're watching, this is me asking you as well. Um, it would be super fun. And then um, there's a couple of other people who she knows that I've been watching. Um, so maybe we can collab with all of them someday. Um, it's amazing, guys. One thing we talked about when our came to YouTube and, you know, kind of what we're doing and what we want to get out of it, and it's just the friendships and relationships. It makes this journey so much more fun. Um, so I'm super, super thrilled to get to meet her, and I thank her so much for not thinking I was a creep, and I just added her on Facebook and said, hey, we are like the same person. Do you want to be friends? You know, that was weird, probably, but she's amazing, and I'm so thankful. So I can't gush enough about everything that's going on right now. And I'm looking forward to a great friendship and so many more collabs and vlogs. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Um, and side note, the last video I think you saw was my baking video. I'm sorry, guys. That was bad. And I know that. I know that. But it's going to get better because I'm working on vlogs because I want to have more content for you guys. Um, but there's more coming that's better, but I did, you know, I love you guys. Bye.